Hi there, welcome back to my channel. I'm here today with something else from Craftbox. It's not the um, the Craftbox UK uh, kind of monthly kit. This is the mixed media kit. Um, so there's kind of more. There, I think there still are um, sort of embellishments in it, like snip art and things like that. But there's also like mediums, you know, like gel medium things like that. So this is the first one that I've ever got. I did jump straight into a subscription. It's not a monthly thing, it's every two months. Um, but I thought as a kind of newbie to this, that this would be quite a good idea um, to kind of build up what I have. So let's get straight into it. So here, ooh. oh my goodness, I don't know where to start. Right, let's start. We'll not start at the beginning. Oh well. Right, so the first thing that I've got is this chameleon pigment powder. Um, I think normally what she does, things have been a bit different lately because they've had a lot of um, like upheaval, they've moved into new premises and things, but I think normally when she does one of these things, she also does a um, a video that goes along with it to show you how to use all the different products. But this is a pigment powder, um, so you, I know that you can make sprays and colour paints and things like that with this as well. I think you can also sort of sprinkle it on and activate it with water. Um, so this is chameleon. Um, which looks very nice. It's very kind of pearlescent-y. Um, the next thing oh. is, um, do we see, the acrylic gel medium. Um, this is something that I've been looking for locally but we just don't really have any particularly great um, like art shops or anything local. Um, so this is the acrylic gel medium which can be used for lots of different things um, but it's quite good for on what, or what I've seen it being used for is on um, like canvases and things for sticking stuff down. It kind of sticks everything and it dries clear as far as I'm aware. Um, right, I'll go with the bag last. These are the... Um, are these raisin? I'm not sure what, if they're if they're resin or, but they're from uh, Prima, and they are absolutely gorgeous. These these are going to be so nice on canvases and things or decorated boxes. So it's archival cast regalis. Is the the um the sort of line that they are in and there's nine pieces. They do have um, little hooks on or little eyes on them so that you can um, use them as a hanging embellishment um, but I would imagine you can also just take that out and use it just to stick down. So that looks really good. And um, there's one more thing under here which is, what is this? This is the 13 Arts Mixed Media Stencil. This is really nice. So it's got this sort of um, dandelion uh, heads blowing in the wind there. And then it's got a little kind of passage of writing. I'm not gonna, I've started to read it in my head, but it's gonna take too long. Uh, and for the purposes of a video, I probably should have started reading it out loud. But yeah, it's got this little kind of passage on it. So that is really nice. It feels like it's quite a nice thick stencil as well. Um, so now everything else is in these, this lovely golden bag. So the first thing is this paintbrush, which just looks like it's so soft. So it's a four centimetre brush, which I just, I'm going to just take it out. really nice. The handle feels lovely but it's, it is a really nice, it's not too kind of floppy a brush but it's nice and soft. You could just sit tickle yourself with it all day. So that's that. Um, what else have we got? We have some <laughs> Shai Ping Tong Si Yang. Don't know if I'm saying that properly, 
but basically it's wire um, so it's 0.6 millimeter wire I do have um, different wires and things because I have done jewelry making in the past but that's certainly going to come in handy we'll see what she comes up with for us to do with it and then there is this mould, um, a Prima mould, it is a food safe one um, but I would imagine for the purposes of this the idea is to use it with um, either air dry clay um, or like paper clay or with raisin. I actually have some raisin on order that I've ordered with some of my Christmas money um, so I'm going to be having a wee play with that. That looks really good. Yep, I like that. And there is a stamp. Now this again is a Prima stamp. Um, it looks, let me see, what does it say? It doesn't say anything. Is there a name for it? This one is Crackle. So it comes, there's three different ones. I don't know if all the boxes have the same one, but there's Bubbles, Pines and more, and Crackle. So this one is Crackle, so that that would be nice to use in art journaling and things. And then we have these lovely little um, glass pebbles, tiny little glass pebbles. Be lovely for a bit of texture um, on your pieces. And then I think this is the should it say something about a pattern a kit or something? Little blue stones kind of look similar to what you would put in the bottom of your goldfish bowl and then this kind of greeny coloured um, it just looks like it's a powder So let's hope that Anna does do a hints and tips video because I don't really know what this is. I guess you could use this in the same way as you can use this but I've got a funny feeling that they actually have, they have a purpose together um, but I could be wrong. So that is everything that is in that box. I just, I just love it. It's really... I think just to kind of build up your supplies and things like that, I think this is just such a good idea. Um, so that's it. I will try and remember to leave the um, link to Anna's shop um, down below and I will see you again in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.